Welcome to part four of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. Not the GameCube version, of course. I recently streamed that, even though that's the ECW-esque game as well. This is Ron Moore, and oh yeah, and for the first time with us on SC2K channel, making this SC2K debut, ECW Ace Gaming. How's it going? <laughs> it's going great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Omega Ace Gaming, an awesome streamer. Check out his channel by clicking on the link in the description box below because I'm too lazy or stubborn to learn the new way of adding cards on the screen. Or however you do that because I'm so boomer. I am a YouTube boomer, jeez. I've been yeah, on YouTube since 2007. And yeah, so Snake here has just defeated Ray Fox. And now he's got to get things to He's got for Meryl next. <laughs> You know, I, I actually my, my first uh, experience playing Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid was actually the GameCube version. Oh wow, yeah, my friend yeah. Swindoll used to be in some of my projects a long time ago. He introduced me to the series, and then I got hooked to Sons of Liberty. And uh, after that, I kind of fell off. I wanted to play Snake Eater back in the day. I just never got around to it. I think other games just caught my interest. But uh, this and Sons of Liberty, I really played a lot back then. Yeah, oh, I loved Sons of Liberty. Actually, I uh, I had picked it up on the original Xbox. It was what Metal Gear Solid Two Substance, I believe they called it. Yeah, yeah. I ended up uh, getting it from like a like a ma and pa shop, and uh, I was I was actually visiting a like a family friend, and one, you know one of the one of their relatives uh, had mentioned that there was a store nearby uh, that sold games, so we walked over there. And you know, I was young at the time, so I didn't really have much money. And they were selling, you know, the game had just come out on the Xbox, so it was like, you know, 50, 60 bucks. And yeah. Not knowing what it was really worth, I just, you know, I, I picked up the case, I approached the guy, and I, I said, I got 20 bucks. I, uh, he, I was gonna say, I, I remember when they announced the Twin Snakes remake in production, mm -hmm. and I saw the images of it, I'm like, whoa, no way, dude. And yeah, I had to get the Twin Snakes, because that was an awesome remake. It was over the top oh, yeah. with the Matrix stuff, but it was cool. Yeah, it really is over the top, and I, they replaced some of the voice actors too, right? Uh, some of the voice actors, uh, David Hayter took a pay cut in order to be in it, um, hmm. and I, I think some of the same voice actors did return. I think uh, Gray Fox obviously had a different voice actor. Yeah, yeah. So did uh, Psycho Mantis, I, I recall. I think so. Yeah. All right. So now I gotta look for Meryl. You won't be in disguise for long with the way you walk. Right. Oh, which one? I'm not sure which one it is. I couldn't... Ah, oh, I can't... Stupid thing in the way. Is that... No, I think that's her. Which one? Which one is her? No, no that's not her. I think that's her over there. I can't see her butt, so I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, that's her. Come here. Look at me. Oh, uh, she disappeared on the radar right in the middle of the restroom. We saw that. <laughs> yeah, back when I picked up uh, this game on the GameCube, actually, you know, the copy was sealed and everything. I opened it and the disc wasn't in there. What? Yeah, so I had this really awkward conversation with uh, with the employee. I said, yeah, I said I opened it and the game wasn't in there. You know, they had a look of skepticism. I must have talked to two or three employees because, you know, they, they all just got involved. And then finally, they, they agreed to let me open one more and they forced me to open it in front of them. So I didn't have to pay for a second one. That was a first and that's, that's never happened again to me since then. Has that ever happened? No, it hasn't. I, but man, I heard a story where someone, I think it was a PS4, someone ordered it. And when they got it in the, in the mail and they had to ship to them, it was nothing but a box of rocks in there or something. <laughs> What's that mark? And so they had to, they returned it. Surprisingly, they actually accepted the return. Because, you know, anybody could just make up a story and put, or make up, you know, pl plant your rocks in there and take it back and say, oh, well, it came with a box of rocks, so can I get another one for free? And they probably, they probably thought you were trying to pull a stunt. And so what do you do in that situation? How do you prove, you know, that you're telling the truth? Yeah. 
There's no wind. Yeah, it was really awkward. I'm surprised they actually allowed me to get a second one. And you know, I was again, I was God. I don't even know how old I was. I was what, what is that? Fresh out of high school? When did when did the snake eater? Uh, I'm sorry, the twin snakes release. 2004. 2004. Okay, so I was still in high school then. So I mean, they had to believe a, a high school kid telling them, "Oh, the disc wasn't in there." That's surprising. Yeah. Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Meryl. How did you recognize me in disguise? I never played lady. <laughs> so there's something you like about me, huh? Sexy polygons. Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. He gets right to the point. He's blunt. You got a great butt. On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. You know, I, I know the game doesn't look that great anymore, but I mean, it still holds up, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. No Maybe graphically not, but again, it's not all about graphics. All up to you, huh? Exactly. Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? <laughs> Where are the pixel. There should be three the, the polygon cleavage. This is all I've got? Yeah. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't. You don't have you enough, enough XP. And what if you do? <laughs> then you can shoot. Metal Gear Solid RPG. Isn't there one like that, kind of, or not? Oh, uh, there's like an RPG card I'll game. Be careful. Is it called Acid or something? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Acid uh, and Acid. Oh, I don't use makeup okay, this part right here. I hardly this is where an inside joke me. happened between me and Mega Dan and some other streamers. That kind of woman. <laughs> I, always I have always dreamed of becoming an ECW soldier. But I was wrong. Yeah. And that right there, and then Mega Dan just laughed so hard at it, and it became the command my dream in my chat an That's and it awesome. says I've always dreamed of becoming an ECW wrestler I think is what I actually said I don't remember I and I changed it to streamer understand him better. So that's awesome yet. I thought I was until today but now I understand I love this song yeah me too afraid of having to make my own yeah the uh, the uh, R E C W I know who I am yeah what I'm capable of I want to know why I've lived the way I've Man, lived. clean that mirror. What the janitor's at? I guess the janitor's must be on strike. You won't get enough chance for right. a You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Sounds rude. Wash your face while you're at it. And put on more makeup. You look like hell. Dang, Snake. Lose your worm food. Yeah. 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 Is your face functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. It's okay. I got infinite ammo. It's a 50 caliber action express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I Your mouth just didn't move yet, huh? Not yet. Right, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Like Van Twitterquists. Use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Hell of a gun loading animation on PS1. Yeah. The north, we'll have to yeah. the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Have you heard of Camelot 331? Camelot 331? Yeah. No, I can't say I have. Awesome YouTuber. Has like, I think over 100,000 subscribers. He loves Metal Gear Solid games, the Metal Gear games in general. He's pretty good at him. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've never heard of him. What happened to the music? He did a lot of GameStop videos. He used to work there for 12 years, and that's how his channel blew up, all the stories he's told. Wow. Pretty hilarious dude, too. I'm a member of his channel. Nice. I know, aside from you playing... Uh... Twin Snakes. I know uh, Stampede Gaming. I know he's been playing his fair share of Metal Gear as well. I think he's doing, he's doing like a Metal Gear Mondays thing. Yeah, Snakes Revenge. I think he's been doing. Yeah, he was playing like the the MSX version of uh, Metal Gear Two. I love this music. Oh yeah. 
They use it, use this part of the game right here for an Excedra migraine commercial. It's hilarious. <laughs> Did they really? No, not really. <laughs> This be some epic interest music for some okay. evil heel wrestler. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. I can just imagine them just walking slowly back in the trades though. Yeah. There's the rain. That's great. A commander is waiting. She sound different. Meryl, you sound different. <laughs> Where would you uh, where would you put this boss fight uh, if you were to rank it with the other boss fights from this game? Oh, the best one because of his innovation, mm -hmm. his innovation and his inter interactivity. Yeah, it's my favorite boss battle in the game. Probably my favorite boss battle in the entire. Well, I haven't played all the series, but definitely out of Sun, this one and Sons of Liberty, um, I still put this bo boss battle as the best one. Yeah, they really thought outside the box for this one. You don't like girls? Snake, Meryl's not herself. <laughs> don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. ECW Mantis. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. What, they made a typo? Try to knock her up. Whoa, dude. <laughs> That's your niece, dude. It's okay, Snake. Go for it. Uh, yeah. Okay, Colonel. Thanks. <laughs> it just keeps kicking her. I didn't say stop. Yeah. Chuck, you break her neck. Snake! Snake! You idiot! I said knock her out! <laughs> Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. It's the predator. <laughs> the predator, yeah. To catch a predator? So Chris Hansen is snake <laughs> fighting all these predators. <laughs> I will show you oh, why man. I am the most can you believe it took until 2020 for me to finally watch that movie? What movie? Oh, pre the first Predator? Yeah. Wow. Freaking awesome, isn't it? There's also a part two. Yeah, oh, it's a great movie. Yeah. I. Uh, and that's the thing, too. Like, I've brushed past opportunities to, to watch it, but something else would just keep coming up, you know? Yeah. I can think of countless times, like, during my childhood or just growing up in my, in my teenage years. You know, like I'd have family members or like my cousin, for example, they'd say, hey, you want to watch Predator? I'd say, sure. And then something would just happen. It would just prevent us from watching it every time. Yeah. I like this part. It, uh, he reads your memory card. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. You have your Castlevania Symphony of the Night uh, save data. he tell you, and, like Castlevania. Yeah, and on GameCube, the remake, you've been playing The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> you've been playing some ECW. Hmm. I don't say that, but that'd be funny. That would be. What if it got too scary and it started stating your real name and had legal address and stuff? <laughs> Resident <laughs> ship. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus. And you're live streaming this too. You just dox you. He just dox you. <laughs> Mantis just doxed you from a live stream. Oh my god. Still don't believe me. Dude, the voice actor he owned this man. He, yeah, he did. I, was he wearing an oxygen mask when he did this or something? Like the voice act actor himself? What was he talking through? Maybe a real I gas mask? I don't know. They had him run around the block a couple times. Yeah. Oh, it works. My controller's moving. <laughs> <laughs> right. At the time, that was pretty freaking cool. Except when you're, except when you're playing on emulation, it doesn't work. Yeah. The Hideo thing. That's all. That's really cool too. I thought his name was Hot Hideo because instead of video, it says Hideo. I thought his name was Hideo. That's that clever. was hideous. Hideous. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I wonder how hard this would be to fight him on extreme. This is on normal right here. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I never beat this game on extreme. Sons of Liberty I did, but not this game. No way. 
dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, with like the lack of uh, like being able to aim and everything. I know they they added that to like the the GameCube version, the first the first person shooting. Yeah. You can't, yeah, you can't first person shoot here though, because you can shoot him like this in the GameCube version. What if Snake just timed it and he just landed on the seat as it was rotating around him? Yeah. Wait, this is fun. It's like the fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called the Psycho Mantis ride, or that's what it's called, the Psycho Mantis. Nice. Konami opens up a theme park. The Metal Gear Solid section. You got the Psycho Mantis. You got the, uh, the Metal Gear itself. You get to ride inside actual Metal Gear. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Good have to have a Castlevania section. Oh yeah, dude. I can't read. I don't know about this version, but I know the GameCube version. Colonel gives you a hint. It basically just tells you to unplug your controller and plug to the second port. <laughs> Okay, so you remember, actually, I don't know if it, it was uh, just in the GameCube version, but you're supposed to look at the back of the box and it had a co uh, like a codec on there? Yeah, it was on the PS1 version. I mean, you can okay, do the same thing on the GameCube one. version, I think, as well, but uh, Baker tells you in this version, it's on the back of the CD jewel case. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking through my inventory, and I'm like, I don't have a CD jewel case in my inventory. What's he talking about? Where do you find it? And... And you find out it's in the back of your actual physical copy of your video game, the CD Jewel case. Mm -hmm. The GameCube version, he says, it's on the back of the package. But of course, by the time you're playing the remake, you most li people most likely played the original, so they already know where to look. So I had rented the game from Blockbuster, and that box doesn't have the <laughs> the codec. Oh, ha! I never thought about that. <laughs> that, was as far, that was as far as I got. You know, when I played this on emulation at first, I couldn't uh, unplug the fir uh, the controller from the first port because you know you gotta configure everything with the emulation yeah. controls and just mess things up. I couldn't finish the stream. I had to say, all right, guys, we'll continue this next time because luckily I had an actual physical copy. I just wanted to do it on emulation because be I thought it'd be easier to set things up. Right. But so it's a good thing I had the physical the the console and the game. Mm -hmm. That's so dark. Yeah. Stop! Meryl! I know in Extreme you have a very short time to knock her out. She'll kill herself real quick, I think, is what I heard. Okay. Because how, how would you have figured this out without uh, knowing how... You know, who would have thought, let me unplug the first controller and plug to the second mm -hmm. port. What compels somebody to want to do something like that, yeah. Uh, on the X-Men for Sega Genesis, I, by accident, I figured out how to beat that part where it says, Reset the computer, now! And I just said, dang it, I don't know what to do, let me start over. I reset my Sega Genesis, and that's how you do it. Wow. And I, all of a sudden, these binary digits, because if you don't reset the computer like it tells you mm -hmm. to, the bomb explodes or something like that. And so I said, dang it, oh, let me start over again, son of a... And I reset the... Genesis and all these binary digits started showing up on my screen out of nowhere. And I'm like, what hap What is going on with my game? Did it malfunction? And it shows a cutscene. And I said, oh, what? So I figured it out by accident. That is so cool. It tells you to reset the computer now, literally telling you that. And I think that, that game came out before Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah, it came out before Metal Gear Solid. So it's like, man, they... Uh, you know, Metal Solid is a very innovative game, but X-Men of Genesis, you know, that, that part right there was, I don't know if it's ahead of its time, but it's the first for me. Oh, come yeah, on now. Cool. I gotta get more ammo, get the Fomus ammo. Psycho Mantis be good in the ECW match. He'll throw those steel chairs at you so easily. Just throwing steel chairs. I'll show you how it's done, RVD. <laughs> oh come on! I shot him. It's BS. Oh, I got him though. Come on, 
I can't. I, I, I just gotta keep firing. I'm about to get him right here. Dang it! Ran out. There we go. I can't read. One more shot. Get him. Dang it! Ran out again. Man, imagine running out and you lose right there. Game over. Oh. Yeah. It'll be, be so good. frustrating. Come on, get him. There we go. That's that Colonel, sound effect right there. When they're calling you, I used to have that for my Skype uh, tone. I owe you one. Really? Now that Mantis is yeah. beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? <laughs> What's her deal? Naomi, it's true. Well, we'll find out as we progress further in the game. That doesn't yeah. mean he doesn't have a heart. It's, it's okay, okay, Colonel. She's right. So, I use the other... Yeah, I used the other control report. Yeah, yeah. Breaking the fourth wall. The yeah. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Just like in Back to the Future. But I will read the future. <laughs> Remember the GameCube version, all those pictures that come to life? Oh, yeah, they start laughing. Yeah. Yeah, that was a trip. Imagine seeing that in real life. <laughs> you look at a picture, uh, or if you're in your own house, like a picture of whoever, yourself, whatever, just comes to life and starts going. Ah, 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 ah. That's a trip. Seriously. Why are you telling me this? I can read. People's minds. In my lifetime, <laughs> I have read you remember that, uh, and like the Metal Gear parody videos that they had on YouTube? Men and women. Um, like, I don't know if you did you did you ever see those? I don't think so. They had one where Psycho Mantis says to Snake, he says, You like men, and then Snake goes, You can see it in my mind, and then Psycho Mantis goes, No. He's like, Oh. Huh. I remember Mel Gersali, the Twin Tacos. <laughs> never seen that. It was a flash parody on Newgrounds. Remember Newgrounds? Oh yeah, I remember Newgrounds. From 2005, I think they made it. It's freaking hilarious. It's like Snake's birthday, and the Colonel's like, "Snake, today's your birthday, David." And like, he, Snake's all surrounded by the soldiers because he gets spotted. It's like, yeah. Colonel, if I ever make it through this, I swear. <laughs> and then they, the soldier goes, hey, did you hear that guy's birthday? And they all celebrate with a fiesta. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm sure that's on YouTube. Humans oh, yeah, it is. To bring each other happiness. Everything from Newgrounds just migrated to YouTube. Yeah. Into this world. Newgrounds and You the Man Now Dog. It was a fun sites back then. Oh, yeah. Misery. Ugh, the story's so dark. Yeah. Was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. You ever play uh, Metal Gear Solid 3? Yeah, I did. I streamed it a while back. It was like a blind run. Yeah, that's a great game. I suck at it. I was playing on very easy too, and I was just sucking at it. There's so much more advanced than the first two. Yeah. When I came to, the There's definitely a lot to take into account. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. We the same. Actually, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 has uh, had something really unique too, where uh, there was a really uh, th there was like a boss that was really old in that game. Uh, I believe they called him the End. Yeah, that's as far as I got because I, I tried to beat him for like an hour, couldn't find him. They keep on finding me. I said, "Man, forget this." And I was done. Yeah, if you uh, if you if you stop playing the game for several months, I, I I don't recall exactly like the duration of time it needs to be, but. Uh, the game just he just dies of old age. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. But I wanted to beat him like, you know, for real. 
Yeah, yeah I beat him legit, yeah. You're just like and the longer the battle goes, his stamina goes down, but I couldn't find him. I killed his bird, though. That pissed him off. To you, I'm not <laughs> yeah. So bad. Meryl, I saw you there. Kicks him in the head. Stop talking. Yeah. That's too many questions in this game. A large place? Meryl? Metal Gear? <laughs> yeah. This questions everything. Hey, Lotez? I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back. The virus is still out there. Please put my mask back on. <laughs> and please step away from me. Right. It's six feet for a reason, please. Do a parody. Melgar, uh, I don't know, Melgar Corona. <laughs> the Melgar solid uh, uh, COVID. I don't know. Sons of ECW. <laughs> yeah. The cure for the you virus is the elote, the elote vaccine. Yeah, elote vaccine. I know this was released on the GameCube, but I think it's due for another remake. Hmm. Maybe on PS4 or 5? Yeah. I mean, the, the story is so compelling in this one. I want to see the first Metal Gear NES be remade. Oh, that would be awesome. That'd be freaking awesome. Yeah. They could definitely Let's remake go, both. Meryl. Yeah. I'm sorry. They'll just release them in succession. Meryl. How could I let Mantis? They need to remake Action 52. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you yourself, I'll leave you here. Some 3D cheetah men. Hell yeah. Never doubt yourself. If done right, that'd be freaking cool though. They remake yeah. Cheetah Man. You're right. Yeah, a new Cheetah Man game. I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't do it again. I'm, you know, I think it'd be cool for like an indie team to pick it up. Make yeah. Good Can I ask you something? What? About Andy Mantis. team picked up, did the Streets of Rage remake. Oh, it's freaking awesome, man. What? What's the problem? Oh, now? the Streets of Rage remake. Oh. Yeah, I did some videos on that. Check those out. Oh man, it was freaking awesome. That game is ECW Streets of ECW. Your real name. Yeah. The name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to. You're referring to the remake where they combine the first Any three family? games. Yeah. No. Bob yeah, Bomber games. So yeah. So good. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested. That was good enough to sell, honestly. Well, they tried it. They want they they showed Sega what they did instead of doing business with them. Sega said no, cease and desist. Like, I, I mean, yeah, it's their IP. They can do that, but come on, yeah, man. Yeah. If they were smart, dude, I would have jumped. If I was Sega, I would have jumped all over that. Yeah, yeah let's do business. I would have paid. I would have been glad to pay for that. Yeah. All right, so. That's the end of part four of Metal Gear Solid. I plug controller to controller port one. It reminds you to do that. <laughs> and yeah, so well, I'm going to save here real quick before I end the stream. I guess a quick chat with Chun Li. I mean, Mei Ling. The tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Huh? Snake people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. You're the one with bad breath. Now shut up. Ain't that be so cold? <laughs> but Snake, how can you smell my bad breath from the Kodak? Alright, so Please see right here. Don't give up. I didn't plan on doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, don't give up. But it says you're about to quit. I can't quit. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> that is the end of part four. And Megadam wanted to be in this so bad, but he could not. He had to work. I know he'll be watching. And so, thank you very much, Omega Ace Gaming, for, for joining me in this commentary. Yeah, thanks for having me. And I hope to have you in some more future S2K commentaries. Oh, yeah. All right. So, that is it, guys. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.